Welcome to another Demarcation Media Mega Constructs review. Today we're going to be looking at the UNSC Marine Defense. This is a set that actually has taken me a while to get a hold of. I know a ton of people were super excited about it when it first came out. Uh, and eventually the hype kind of died down a little bit. You know, people still always want the Halo 2, Halo 3 style Marines. Um, so it's still kind of hard to find. I was lucky enough to get a couple at my Dollar General, which they actually all showed up in one of my haul videos. So this has been sitting, waiting for me to open it and review it. So let's take a quick look at the box. Actually, on the front, you know, we can see the Marines and the drones. And the interesting thing to note is that all on the box, the drones have the old mold of the plasma pistols, whereas they actually come with the new style. Um, and also, there is this this piece that's floating around in there, and I'm not sure what it's for. Around the back, Marines, drones again, old style plasma pistol for some reason. And then we get to see, whoa, come back. We get to see the Warthog run set. So let's go ahead and get this open. Let's see. Kind of went a little overboard with the tape. There's like two or three tape circles on each section. There's that weird extra piece. It wait, it looks like part of the rocket launcher. I didn't think those came apart. All right, the figures come just in these little plasticky things. I always love these backgrounds. Like, look at that. Look how cool that is. Let's see. And we have a bag of parts and some instructions that kind of just string out like this. All right. So let's go ahead and I'll get all this out and we'll take a closer look. All right. Everything's all put together. And uh, apparently this piece is actually an extra. It would go on the bottom of this. And for some reason they gave us two. Don't really know what that's about. Uh, and then since this is part of the 10th anniversary line, um, we get this little gold. I think this is a, a mine. So somebody would step on it and blow up. Uh, Assuming that the Marines are trying to use this, that's kind of stupid because the drones are never going to step on it. But, you know, it's a pretty cool piece anyway. So let's go ahead and take a look at the kind of couple little builds first. So we get this kind of rocket launcher, grenade launcher. Uh, don't kill me because I don't actually know the name of this. This is one of the Halo weapons I'm not super familiar with. We get the stand for it. The stand is actually two pieces. Like that. That's kind of cool because then you can rotate it around. And there's actually a spot here so you could clip some extra stuff on there. There's the launcher itself. Uh, I'll show you where that other piece went. Like that. I actually never knew these pieces came apart. I thought they were fused together, but they're not. I know like you can pull these off in game sometimes and carry them. But I think it looks best on its stand. It's pretty cool. And then we get this little thing of sandbags kind of piled up near a wall. And I am a sucker for sandbags. I have a whole like plastic bag full of them and I always want more. So this is great to me. Because so look, we can just place our rocket launcher behind the sandbags and we're good to go. The enemies in this set are a pair of drones. They come with these concrete looking stands and then the clear pole to make them flying. These guys are pretty good figures. I think they're well done. I don't really have any complaints about them. They come with the new style plasma pistol, not the old one. And they are actually the only Mega Constructs figures that I know of to have like a waist joint that's a ball joint. So that's kind of cool. The only thing is I didn't really need any more drones because uh, thanks to Mega Constructs and their uh, 
blind bag replacements. I have a whole hive's worth. Actually, real quick, I figured it would be interesting to note that, so this is the one from the UNSC Marine Defense, and this is the one from the Foxtrot blind bags. These guys have a little blueprint on their rear end. These guys don't. Don't really know why. Oh, and actually, dang, the feet have armor print, and the uh, these guys don't. So that's kind of strange. Usually the blind bag figures have less detail than the in the set figures, but apparently this is an exception. Of course, though, everybody's going to be buying this set for the Marines themselves. They come with little concrete colored stands. This guy has an AR, this guy has an SMG, and then between them, they have a full muzzle flare assembly. These pieces are fantastic. I think the choice of weapons here are good. I like that. And they they just look good. These, these Marines look really good. There's no real quality control issues that I can see, at least so far. And the faces look really good. And the thing about this set is that we actually get a Marine with a slightly darker skin tone, which this guy, as far as I know, is still exclusive to this set. My guess is he will remain that way. Usually they just look like this with the light skin. Um, obviously, when you get up close to their faces, you'll start to see little... Uh, mist paint on their visor here and there or kind of gets lighter skin tone on that side you see a little bit of green coming through but overall I think they look really nice and this is a pretty good way to if you can find this set for a good price to amass an army of marines and an army of drones well there you have it that is the UNSC marine defense I really like this set. I definitely see why uh, it became a quick favorite with a lot of people. Because, like I said, it's a great way to amass an army of the Halo 3 style Marines. Um, and drones, too. Like I said, I have too many drones already. Um, but overall, I can't really find anything too huge to complain about with this set. Other than the fact that... Why the heck do the blind bag drones have so much more detail? Footprinting, the printing here, the printing on the little tails, and those guys have none of it. That just kind of feels a little bit like Mega got lazy since kind of the blind bag figures are usually the less detailed ones. But, you know, that's a minor nitpick. The drones are there mostly just to get shot down by the Marines. Um, and the Marines are definitely really, really good. I especially like the fact that this one guy has the darker skin tone. And, you know, it's just a solid, really, really solid set. And it has sandbags, which, you know, that's an instant A+. So if you can find this set for a good price, I'd say go ahead, jump for it. And if, you know, if there's multiple available, go ahead and start building yourself an army. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.